Hi, my name is Melinda and in this video I'm going to show you how to use stencils in Digital Scrapbook Artist 2. You can find your stencils in the top right hand corner. Just click on stencils from the pull down tab and you can see that there are a bunch of different stencils in there. You can easily use the scroll bar to go up or down your screen or you can use your wheel on your mouse. If you rest your pointer on top of the category and then left click, you're going to see that there are more categories underneath. I'm just going to click on creatures and all I'm going to do is just go down the list of my new stencils and I'm just going to uh, hover over the butterfly, hold down my left mouse button and drag the butterfly onto my screen. Now let's just start with something simple. I'm going to go into the brushes and I'm going to the top of the screen and clicking on the brush. Now you don't have to use the flowers. You can use any of the brushes that come with Digital Scrapbook Artist 2 or for that matter you can create your own. I'm just going to click on this brush right here and I'm just going to start drawing on top of my stencil. Now at any time um, I can easily stop and if there's a little bit of images that didn't go all the way through that's perfectly fine. If I want to actually add to the middle of this with a different brush I can just draw a little bit of a line, leave that line selected and then click on the next brush. So now the next brush fills with that color which is a little bit lighter and that way you can get a more of an interesting effect. When you're done, click on select to turn off the brushes. Click once on your stencil and now you have two options. You can lift your stencil so it's completely out of the way and all you're left with is your image underneath or you can undo this and this time click on your stencil but instead of lifting it, just drag it over. Now the reason you might want to drag it over is because you may want to uh, use the stencil over and over again or let me give you another example of what you can do. You can leave your stencil selected and click on outer. When you do that, your stencil goes from being a negative into becoming a positive. At this point, you can apply anything on top of your stencil and when you click on it once to select it, you can easily move it out of the way. And now you've got this interesting effect underneath which you can punch out of any kind of um, images that you have. So it's basically punching it out. It's kind of cool. You could also put this effect onto there if you wanted to. So you've got yourself a nice little uh, layout where things go. I'm just going to delete this and I'm going to show you some really fun things that you can do with stencils. First of all, you're probably not even going to want to use any of these stencils because you can create your own really easily. I'm just going to go over here and I'm going to right click and I'm going to click on Add Category. You're going to want to name your category. I'm just going to call mine um, ABC and click on OK. Now you need to get some stencils in here, so a quick way to do it is to go to Text, click once on your page, and then I'm just going to make this a little bit larger, and I'm going to type out I love you. Next thing I'm going to do is select it and just move this down. So the reason I also clicked on select was to turn off the text. Now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to change the font and I'm just going to drag this into my stencils and now I can delete this image from screen. So I've got this really cool stencil now that I've made myself and it says I love you. I can easily go into my photos, my embellishments, my text, my flowers, my effects, my material, anything I want and I can apply that on top of my stencil. When I click on my stencil and lift it up, there is is my newly created stencil underneath that was created from this photograph and from the stencil. Now another thing you can do is go back to text, click once on your page and I'm just going to make this a little bit larger. I'm going to click on the small letter A and I'll click on select to turn off my text. Now I'm going to go over here while this is still selected and I'm going to select my dingbats called WW Furry Friends. When I do that you can see that I now have a nice dingbat on screen. I'm just going to drag it into my stencils and when I do that I can now delete the image that's on screen. So I'm going to drag my new stencil onto my screen and if I want to I can easily go into my embellishments and just drag myself an embellishment on screen. I can also make the embellishment bigger, I can stretch it out if I want to and there is a really nice uh, stencil. Now if you're happy with that just click on your stencil and just move it out of the way and there you've got this nice image underneath. If at any time you wanted to apply effects to your image you could do that as well. You can't just click on the effects because if you do you'll get this error. You get this layer effects do not work with this kind of object. So just take one of your embellishments, place it on your screen, 
click on your effect. When you're happy with the placement, hold down the control key on your uh, keyboard, hold down your left mouse button and just drag another copy. Let go and there you've got another interesting effect. If at any time you want to change the effects, again, hold down the control key on your keyboard, hold down your left mouse button and this time I'm just going to place this over here and I'm just going to apply a completely different effect. Now when I click off of my image, click onto this, I then have uh, two completely different effects or three completely different effects. So that's another way of using the effects. Now another thing that you can do is very easily go into your embellishments, drag them onto your screen, and then drag them directly into your stencils. If I pull this out again, you can see that I've created a stencil from this image. If I wanted to, I can also place this image right on top of my stencil, hold down the control key on my keyboard and my left mouse button and just start dragging until I'm happy with the placement. Then I can lift up my stencil and now I have two different images. I've got the original and I've got the stencil I created from the original. So let's just delete these two. Another thing you can do is go to the top of the screen and click on the pencil and let's just say you want to create your own alphabet or maybe you just want to create um, a, a shape, an image, what have you. You can just draw that. Click on select and then you want to select everything that you've just drawn. Don't worry if the lines don't connect because it doesn't matter. All you need to do is click on group and you only need to do this for the pencil. And then you just drag it into your stencils and instantly you've got your new stencil. I'm just going to delete this here and I'm just going to drag out my stencil for a second and if I want to apply any kind of effect to it I can easily do that. Now if you are applying effects to your image, and let's just say you don't like the placement of it, let's say I don't like the placement of this flower, all you need to do is just drag it to another location where you want it to go until you're happy with the placement. So in this case I'm just going to leave it over here and I'm going to click on my stencil, I'm going to lift it up and there is an interesting looking letter A. I can delete that now. The next thing I want to show you is really cool, it's how to mask. All you do is you go into the stencils that you want to use and I want to go into creatures. I want to go back to this butterfly that I had originally drag it onto my screen and I'm going to rotate it a little bit. I'm going to go into my photos and I'm going to apply this butterfly to it. Now what I want to do is I want to take this stencil and turn it into a mask. To do that all I need to do is select the stencil and then I'm going to send it to the front and now I can see the photograph underneath. So I'm just going to make the stencil a little bit smaller and I'm going to rotate it just a tiny bit. And then once I'm happy with the placement, leave the stencil selected. This time you're going to send it to the back and now you can click on lift stencil. And there you go, you've created yourself a mat, I'm sorry, a mask that you've done from your photograph. So I'm just going to delete that. Let me show you some quick things that I did. I went over here and all I did was I loaded um, this stencil which comes with Digital Scrapbook Artist 2. For the girl in the middle I just took these flowers and they actually come from the Berry Pie Kit which is free with Digital Scrapbook Artist 2 and I just layered them on top of the girl so that you have a kind of effect as if she's almost alive. And then I took this image here and I just layered it around the circle which was right over here. Then I turned it into a plastic effect and that's just using these two things. Another thing that you can do, and this is another fun thing, is you can easily just click on the coffee cup which comes in the, let me see over here, the fun objects. And all I did was I typed out the word coffee, I applied a metallic effect to it, and I just over and over again applied it onto my stencil. Then the next thing I did after that was I moved it to the side, I applied a full image on top of here, and then I applied a plastic effect, and I combined the two together. So you get this really cool image. And finally I'm just going to show you another quick thing that I did. I clicked on the coffee cup and then I took this flower and I just kept layering it over and over again. When I was finished I wanted a mat for my image so what I had to do was take a copy of my original image which was this one, go to the top of the screen after I've made my copy, click on tools and then convert to bitmap. Then the next thing that I did was I went to color, I sent the outline to the front and then I colored it. Then I went into my metallic effects and I uh, 
put the effect on it, so right over here. Next I went into the line and I made it a little bit thicker. So then I had myself a nice mat and if you've watched any of my videos showing how to you know have fun with text it's basically the same thing only this time it's using a stencil. If at any time you don't want an image you can easily go back into the category, you can right click on your image and you can click on delete design then press OK and it is gone. If at any time you don't want your category you right click on it and then click on delete category folder. Now another thing is when you close down Digital Scrapbook Artist 2 these images will automatically be saved for you so the next time you open it you can use those stencils again. If you have any questions please feel free to email me. My email address is lovemyzombie at yahoo dot ca